Hello guys, I have very exciting news about Assetto Corsa, especially with Custom Shaders patch and Content Manager on computer. With the Content Manager and Custom Shaders patch, you have an app called App Shelf when you are inside a session and you search through your apps. With the App Shelf, you can actually download some very useful apps that come from Custom Shaders patch. One of those new apps that has been just updated and added to the game is Dynamic Return. And this feature, Dynamic Return, is very good for your practice sessions. What does this Dynamic Return do? It's very easy. You save the state of the car. With the press of one button, and it's everything that you need to configure in the settings, you save the state. You also can choose a section of the track that you can control the time and you just separate that section of the track from everything else and you'll see your delta and your time doing that section so you can do a complex of two corners or just one corner or something like that but you choose that smaller section and after the third time that you press the button you always return to the place that you were when you first pressed the button not only you return to that place, but you return with the exact same speed, exact same everything that you had. So you just keep repeating the same section over and over every time you press the button to go back there. And this is very good and very useful because you can try new things. You can take more curb, you can take less curb, you can try to turn a little bit earlier, turn later, break a little bit more, break a little bit less, and little by little, improve just that one corner that was a bit harder than everything else for you and you can just master every track every car every corner little by little piece by piece this actually reminds me of music i'm actually a jazz guitar player and i love playing music and the way that you master the most complex songs and the most difficult things to do on the instrument and on the guitar is actually by isolating those small bits and just practicing those little the few seconds little by little until you can put everything together and now you can do the same thing with the lap which is quite amazing for improving the lap times and understanding the car what the car wants to do <clears throat> so in this video here, while I'm talking, you are watching the example. I think you can also get this on GitHub. I think I will leave the link to the GitHub in the description of my video if you are interested. Don't forget to leave your likes, comments and subscribe to the channel for more content if you are enjoying this kind of content. Thank you very much. Hope to see you on the racetrack. Cheers.